Good morning and welcome to today's reflection, which is going to be Psalm 49. Hear this everyone, listen all people everywhere, great and small alike, rich and poor together. My thoughts will be deep. I will speak words of wisdom. I will turn my attention to the Proverbs and explain their meaning as I play the harp. I am not afraid in times of danger when I'm surrounded by enemies by evil men who trust in riches and boast of their great wealth. A person can never redeem themselves. He cannot pay God for the price for his life because the payment for a human life is too great. What could he pay would never be enough to keep him from the grave, to let him live forever. Anyone can see even wise men die as well as foolish and stupid men. They all leave their riches to their descendants. Their graves are their homes forever. There they stay for all time. Though they once had lands of their own, a man's greatness cannot save him from death. He will die like the animals. See what happens to those who trust in themselves. The faith of those who are satisfied with their riches. They are doomed to die like sheep and death will be their shepherd. The righteous will triumph over them as their bodies quickly decay. In the world of the dead, far from their homes, but God will rescue me. He will save me from the power of death. Don't be upset when a man becomes rich, when his wealth grows even greater and greater. He cannot take it with him when he dies. His will, wealth will not go with him to the grave. Even a man is satisfied with this life and is praised because he's successful. He will join all the ancestors in death, where the darkness lasts forever. A man's greatness cannot save him from death. He will stay like the animals. He will die, sorry, like the animals. This is the word of the Lord. This psalm, the foolishness of trusting in riches. Listen, all people everywhere, great and small alike, rich and poor together. This opening tells me that it relates to everyone. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have. Wealth is the least important thing in our lives. The most special, special riches is knowing God and what we do in our lives when we know God. Even men who trust in their riches and boast of their great wealth. Does wealth relate to material things in our lives or is it spiritual wealth? We need to trust in God to guide us and support us in how we deal with this wealth. Don't be upset when a man becomes rich. This line makes me think, I should be thinking about spiritual wealth more. But at the same time, we worry about how we live, how we can pay our bills with things that are happening in our lives, electricity bills going up, cost of living going up. It's getting harder and harder to live in this world. So what we need to try and do is balance both our spiritual wealth and our material wealth. And sometimes this can be a real struggle. That's why it's so important to trust in God. A man's greatness cannot save him from death. We can't take material things with us. When we die, we can only take our spiritual self. So we need to trust in God, balance things in our lives, believe in him, trust in him, and know that he's thinking about us all the time. Now for a short prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for your love and understanding in our daily lives. Guide us as we put our trust in you. Help us to balance both our spiritual wealth in our lives with our material wealth. And just thank you for your mercy and grace and for your unconditional love. Amen.